Right, good evening folks, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today I've come fishing with a friend and subscriber uh, who's called Jay, uh, and we come down to fish the rockier marks around Eastbourne Cliffs, uh, just to give it a go and see how we get on down here. There's been lots of reports of uh, loads of bass being caught and loads of codlin being caught and so on and so forth. So I just want to come around this area just to see if there's anything that we've got around here. So we're going to give it a good fish and um, I'll show you my plans and what I'm going to think about doing and uh, we'll meet Jay and uh, hopefully have a good evening. Right, so rigs wise for me tonight and I'm just using a Trident pulley rig uh, straight down to a 6.0 with a nice big lug bait there. And I'm just going to fire these out, red grip lead and just give it a good go. Uh, where we're fishing is predominantly loads of reef Obviously when the water comes pushing back in, uh, all the reefs here, uh, but we're on the sand at the minute, so we've got a good couple of hours of fishing the sand, uh, and then the water's gonna push up and we'll be back on the uh, on the rocks. We may change location to a second location. Uh, we'll see how we get on. All right, so I'm just about to walk my first cast out. Using the leader icon sport, or leader icon M sport elite power we're using today oh, so there's quite a lot of sand there so we're just going to cast out into the abyss so here we go we are now cast out I'm going to back the drag off walk it back to the rod rest tighten the line up so the lead locks into the, the sand out there back off the drag a little bit and place it into the raw breast all right now all I need to do now is wait for a nice big fish to come and take my big bait and prep a second rig right so what I'm gonna do is gonna bait up a second rig uh, I've got worm on my first rig as you guys have seen so my second rig, I'm just going to do a whole squid. Again, just using the 6-0 hooks. Just going to pierce that straight through and then just wrap that to the hook using my bait elastic. Wrapping the squid up then. Tuck the bottom of the squid up underneath the hook. Now we're just going to tie that off. Nice and simple. And there's our squid all ready to go out as a second bait. Right, so I'm fishing with Jay tonight who is here. He's just uh, cast out and he's reeling in the slack on the line to tighten it up to the bottom. How are we doing Jay? You alright mate? Yeah, good. Yeah. So Jay's been fishing uh, for how long have you been fishing for now, mate? About a couple of months. months. Three months. Yeah. What kind of species have you had so far then? Smooth out pups, uh, salt, a variety. Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, absolutely awesome. Yeah, it's even better when you catch something. Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're out here tonight, uh, I said down around the cliffs, um, and we're going we're to give it a good shot. Uh, we'll let you know if we catch any fish or you know how it goes. Water's coming in super fast here. With marks like this, you've got to be careful because you can be in quite deep water when it comes round behind you in a matter of seconds, really. Uh, so you also got, always got to know your exit routes and things like that when you're fishing down here, especially on big tides. I think we're on like a seven meter tide tonight, so it is quite big. So yeah, you wouldn't want to get stuck out, out on the rocks or anything when the water comes in behind you. Have your wits about you when you're fishing. And marks like this. So first fish of the night, we change location, we come down to Langley Point. We push all the way back up onto the uh, onto the rocks from the sand at the first location. We're back, back down at the Langley Point now. Jay's just reeling his first chuck. He thinks to be in his first fish. 
hopefully we're going to see come in in the next couple of seconds. Oh, and the first fish of the night. We have a dogfish. A dogfish, there we go. Wriggling it around like a good one. There you go, mate. Take, take the old fish then. Happy days. Right, so a couple of little rattles for me then on my rod here. I'm going to check, see if I've got a fish. Obviously, last session was a blank, so I'm hoping that we can pull out one. Fish this session would be nice. Maybe one of them magical unicorns would be even better. Right, so the first fish for me then for the night, a dogfish. Not as big as Jay's, but hey, I'm happy to beat the blank. Right, so I think this has got to be the smallest one for me this year so far. Absolute tither this one. An absolutely tiny dogfish. <laughs> Absolutely crazy, taking a squid. Another fish for Jay. He's in. Fish on, man. Another dogfish, man. Woo! Dogs are in. All right, so another dogfish in the bag for me. Well, it's going to be night of the night of the dogfish tonight, but you know, hey, I'm not complaining. We're catching fish and we're having fun, so that's all that matters. Let's get my hook, getting back in, and hopefully see if we can try and catch something else. Right, so the last baits are out now. I've gone for a whole mackerel head. Uh, just fished in really close, just on the off chance that you know, <laughs> if we're lucky, we might catch something close in. Uh, that is the plan. Uh, water's coming up pretty high now. Uh, we're like I say, we're about half an hour before the high tide. Um, so yeah, last baits are out now, and we'll see if anything else happens. Right, guys, that is it. Thanks very much for watching another episode. Uh, we ended up with a couple of dogfish apiece. Uh, at least it weren't a blank. Uh, it was a good, fun night out fishing, uh, trying different things. So, cheers for watching. I'll see you on the next one in tight lines.